Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brie from BriannaLens.com and today is December 1st, which is the first day of my stitchy vlog. I'm going to be releasing weekly stitchy vlogs throughout December, like a stitchmas, but focused on Jolly Housewives. And I didn't know that Jolly Housewives was a thing until I'd already decided to do this. So it just works out to work in collaboration with their stitch along. They don't know who I am, but I'm following along with Fat Quarter Shop and uh, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. So I thought it'd be really fun if I worked on, sorry, if I worked on all of their roundabouts and I took you through, like my goal is to get one of these roundabouts done every week. They just released a fifth and final one of their roundabout patterns. And so I'm going to see if I can get that one stitched in too. But my main goal is to get the first four that I've stitched done. And then if I have time to do the fifth and final one, then I will. But I've got a lot of other stitchy plans that I've got going on. Um, if you would like to see what those are, then make sure that you watch Floss Tube number 20. I'll link it down below. Um, so the first one that I'm going to stitch is the Mrs. Claus Bakery. This is what my kids chose for me to do first. I'm going to be stitching it on a 28 count coffee Jobelin. I couldn't decide between Jobelin or the 32 count um, Platinum Lugana, but I'm going to do that. And then I've got all of my threads right here. So let's go ahead and jump into the vlog. So I'm going to start now and I have decided to go ahead and start in the top right corner of my fabric, which is a piece of 13 by 18 inch fabric piece. And I'm going to start right here at the top of um, her sleeve and then I'm going to do all of this red. This is a five inch hoop. So I went ahead and I used a ruler to find the center of my hoop 
and I've got it marked just a couple stitches up so that way I know the center of the pattern is right here and I went just a couple stitches up because that's where um, the center is for this. Does that make sense? Like the center is just a couple stitches down. So I went a couple stitches up from center and that's where I'm gonna start. I have it marked with a needle and I'm gonna be using, um, I'm gonna start with a loop method, but because of how I did my DMC, literally just for aesthetics, um, I can't really do the loop method. So I'm gonna start with the loop method and a shorter piece of DMC and then I'm just gonna take two uh, two strings and then use that from there and just weave it in the back. But I'm excited. Um, I'm actually really curious to see how this in long this ends up taking me to actually finish. Um, because I'm thinking that I want to finish as I go. Maybe that would be cool. So yeah, I'm excited to get this started. Let's see um, how much I can get done. I only have a little bit to stitch now, but if I found that as long as I start a project, I'm most likely to just come back and stitch on it throughout the day versus thinking that I'll just like sit down at night and start it. As long as I start it, I can put in a couple stitches throughout the day and I get way more done. So yeah, here we go, Mrs. Claus. Hey you guys, happy Friday, December 2nd. I got a good amount of stitching done last night. Um, yeah, this lighting is okay. I'm in my little corner, here's my tree. Um, if it's a little grainy, it's because of the light behind me, but yeah, I'm really happy. I got quite a bit done. Look at her little eyelashes. So cute. So yeah, I'm really pleased. Um, I got a, a ton done last night. Like for me, I was doing this while I was waiting for a dye to set. I did some experimenting. If you watched my last floss tube, um, floss tube number 20, I showed gingerbread, uh, yeah, a type of like gingerbread fabric. And I think that it might be discontinued. And I was talking about how I was really sad about it because I love it. And so I tried to recreate it myself. And I think I did on Ada, uh, not linen or uh, even weave, but I did it on Ada and I still, I use Ada all the time. So I'll show that to you in a second and I'll show you kind of like a couple of the steps and I'm really happy with it. I'm happy with the amount of stitching that I got done yesterday. Um, again, I'm having a ton of fun and I forgot Flossmas was a thing. So should I call this Flossmas? I don't know. I'll, I guess we'll find out when you click on whatever the title of this video is, but it is kind of like a flussmas. I'm going to bring you along with me. So I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time, like, you know, recording little snippets of what I'm doing. Um, I just was at Walmart yesterday and I was like, I feel like dyeing fabric and I spent $3 and I'm really happy with the product that I got. So let me show you.
Yeah, so this is 14 count Ada. And I dyed it, I double dipped it in tan writ dye. And I used salt. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. There's a little spot right here. It's probably where salt set in, but that's okay. Um, I'm just, I'm really, I'm thrilled with it. That's a really good way to see the modeling too. So yeah, it's kind of blown out because of the light, but it is, it's darker in real life, but hey Jules. But it's gorgeous. I'm so happy with it um, because it is darker in real life. Just imagine it a little bit darker. <laughs> anyway, um, my daughter saw it this morning because I wanted to show my husband. And she goes, oh, mom, that looks like that gingerbread fabric that you really like. And it's true. Look at all my plants. <laughs> so, yeah, thrilled with that. Thrilled with that. Today is Sunday, what is it, December 4th? Um, December 4th. Yep, December 4th. Yesterday I didn't check in. We had a really busy day with Christmas stuff. My kids had a Share Your Talents Christmas um, program through their homeschool co-op. And then after that we had a wonderful Christmas party with our co-op. And then after that we rushed out north of town to go to a wonderful Christmas parade and we had a wonderful time. So yesterday was all Christmas activities. Uh, today I am back to stitching. I had this part done the on the second. I didn't do any stitching at all yesterday and then today I just stitched this gingerbread. So really today I'd like to finish this. Um, I really would like to finish this today. And so that is my goal. I'm gonna be doing this off and on all day because I wanna finish this today and then I have a Mill Hill kit that I wanna finish tomorrow. And I'm having a wonderful time. Oh, you can really see everything really well in this light. So yeah, super cute. This gingerbread man is so cute. And I think once I get the Mrs. Claus Bakery stitched in right here, it's gonna become evident that I really don't have that much stitching left. So um, we are doing a lot of Christmas activities today. My daughter Fiona made chocolate orange truffles, which I'll link um, down below the recipe to my website. They're so good. They're her favorite Christmas dessert. Then they played with uh, Christmas slime and we're going to go do something else, but I'm just going to, like I said, pop in for 15 to 20 minutes, do some stitching and then um, in between all of our activities. So I'll check in with you later. It's, it's a ballerina. I love 
let's see what signs do. All right, today is the 5th and it is Monday. I thought I would finish last night, but I didn't. But I did finish today and I love it. I'll turn it around in just a minute, but I really love it. Um, there was a lot of fiddly stitching, but that's okay. That's usually what the housewives is. <laughs> patterns are there's a lot of color changes but um it is so cute it's worth it I'm very happy with it and I already know which one I want to do next so I'm very excited and I'm also excited because I want to finish my Mill Hill and um yeah I'm really really happy I thought I'd be able to finish this in a four inch hoop but I'm not going to be able to I'm going to turn this around I'm going to show you all right there she is all finished so cute so so cute and this is the hoop that I thought I'd be able to finish it in, but it's just a little bit too tight. I mean, if I had done the 32 inch platinum, it would have been able to fit. But I do think it's just a little bit too tight. Don't you think so? I mean, maybe it would just barely fit and it might be cute that way. I don't know, maybe I should try it. Maybe I should try it. Because I do like how snug it is. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it will fit. It's hard to do because I'm looking through the. Oh, it'll. Oh, it'll fit. <gasps> Yay! Uh, okay, because this is really what I envisioned. I was envisioning it in one of these four inch hoops because it was saying it was three and a half inches. So in my mind, I thought I would have at least like. Oh yeah, no, that'll fit if I fiddle with it enough. Okay. Well, that just goes to show you to just double check. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, that is so cute. It fits perfect. Okay, so that's what I wanna do. I want to stain these and I'm gonna finish these in and I'm going to delete the little <laughs> comment I have on my Instagram post saying that I'm not gonna do this because they fit perfect. Yay, I'm so happy. All right, you guys, this is where I'm going to conclude uh, my first vlog. I know it's only the first five days, but I feel like I have a ton in this first video. So I'm going to start with the second video, um, moving on to my second project and the other bit of my Christmas stitching, because uh, I don't want to make these too, too long. So here is Vlogmas Flossmas. <laughs> Flossmas 1, and I had a ton of fun stitching that um, roundabout pattern by stitching with the housewives. It was so much fun and I'm so happy that I'm going to be able to finish the way that I want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and um, probably tomorrow start the next pattern and that's what I'll pick up Flossmas vlog number two. So thank you so much for watching you guys. I've had a ton of fun. I'm really, really enjoying this and I hope that you're enjoying it too. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.